Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. Well, we're programming the handheld device and the handheld device... Mm, I have a different concept. I wanted to have uh, a set point where the controlling device should control with. I want to select which temperature the set point is. Okay, so I want to have a set point, temperature set point, 120 degree or whatever, yeah, and I want to select it should be controlled with temperature 1, 2, 3, 4. Hmm. And then I want to have a high level, a high alarm, a low alarm for temperature 1, a high and a low alarm of temperature 2, a high and a low alarm of temperature 3, and a high and a low alarm of temperature 4. Yeah. So I have 10 parameters. And if we are looking now into this, uh, if I'm now pressing here, we see it is below. Uh, here we see we can, it is working. Hmm. But here the last parameter is already printed too low. Hmm. By the way, I fixed this this thing with the with the uh, EEPROM. It was exactly the EEPROM commit on an ESP device. You have you can write it in the EEPROM, but only after EEPROM commit it will be flashed to the EEPROM. Uh, I forgot to to call this EEPROM commit in my library here for this ESP device. ESP32 was working fine, but this Node MCU was not working fine. Uh, yeah, so what I want to do, I want to separate this. So I want to have two for control, uh, so, so control temperature, so uh, temperature set point and which temperature to use for control. And then on the next page, I want to have limits. Uh, so I want to have two pages in my, in my library. Ah, menu, in my menu, of course, the library. Library have more pages. Alright, so uh, let's have a look how this how this might be achieved. I have already introduced something which is called uh, which is called where is it parameter offset, yeah? and I will change the menu positions to two. Uh, the first one should have two. And the next one should have 8. And the parameter offset of the first one is 0. And the next one is 2. Hmm? The first I want to have these first two parameters. On the second page I want to have the next, the next 8 parameters in my case. So let's see. Uh, how this is working. This I will no longer call set points. I will call control. Okay. Here getting the parameters i plus the offset value of this menu position. Uh, control, control. And I will have if menu position equals 1, I will write something else. <sighs> 55. I will make it 52 this time. 52 because control is a little bit shorter then. And here we'll make it. We will start not at 5, we will start at 53 and call it limits. Limits. How? 42 maybe. I should work already. Let's see. Upload this. Uh, let's have a look how this is working. At least we should see in the menu how big they are, if this everything is, is correct there. Yeah? And also the first menu, if we already see only two. Okay, we only see two. Limits. That's just wrong. Ooh. Control. Ah. Looking not too bad, I must say. But of course, I have to set 
it's not seven it's two more it's 53 it's 55 and here 52 i also have to ah it's 52 ah because it's 57 we can reduce this by 5 47 should be enough 5 and 47 is 52 and at 53 I will start the next one I think it should be even alright if I make 55 45 45 50 50 51 52 <gasps> calculating in my head just copy those I think it's just copy and paste these are the more limits All right. and if I where is this save handle menu left Okay, now we should also be able to handle left and right, left and right button. Oops, I always forget to, to switch to the small size. <laughs> I just coded, I just coded uh, in this, this stuff here, input, ongoing, uh, if many position bigger, button left, button right. right? This, this is everything and I changed, and I changed the... Uh, the uh, here the, the the values simply uh, the values of the positions and so on let's see how this looks like now and now i switch it to big don't forget to remind me to switch it to small <laughs> oh limits okay control limits okay this looking good this looking not good Okay, button left seems to work, button right is not working, zero, alright, something to fix, yeah. let's see, button, button, handle menu, close all, all the stuff, I don't button left. If many positions begin on your zero, okay. If many positions smaller than many positions minus one, many position plus plus, else many position is zero. What is what is this? You can begin. Huh? What is many positions? Two. Ah, let's let's first focus. Uh, so if we have a 53 then it would be look it would look better and then actually all I have to copy is this here I oh, will make void list parameters we'll make it in a function I like to have a function list parameters I think this should work over here we have to set list parameters this I can even put here ah, ah, let's leave it outside if I want to have the parameters in different I don't know I don't know should work there's still room for one more maybe afterwards I will also add a network or something like that. Okay, let's see. Different temperature, temperature one high limit. Let's enter something here. We want to enter. 
I, w I want to check this. Ooh, 9,000 degree. 100. Let's see, 120 is the high limit. Enter. This was not working pretty well. <laughs> is it working here? Enter. 110. 111. Enter. Ooh. 111. Enter. 111. This changed. Alright. Going down. Select. Ooh, this minus. I also have to fix this minus somehow. Mm hmm. Okay. I want to have temperature. Temperature. One. This is also working. Eh? Here. Here it was not working. Let's the uh, enter. One. Ooh. What if I change this now? Nothing. <laughs> There's something going on with the input value. Okay, also here I have to put out handle menu. Uh, mm, 0.print menu position. Print menu pose. To see what is going on here, button left and button right. Good, and now this input. Okay, fill input value. What is wrong here? Fill input value, get parameters, input text, input position equals to. Hmm. Looking good, get parameters, menu item, parameter of set for menu position. Hmm, what is wrong here? Maybe something with the menu position. Maybe something with the menu position. <sighs> Let's see. What is going on with the menu position? Why button right is not working? Menu position is two. Two. Oh God. Of course. That's correct. <sighs> okay, but but here aha K zero menu position K zero I don't care about this. Ah maybe I make it Case one. All right. Save input value. Case zero. Case one. Maybe I want to have later a menu where every gear. Huh? Those things exactly do what they're told. What they're told, and not what you want to have. This is annoying. <laughs> Maybe artificial intelligence will fix this in future. We'll see. Now it's working. Alright. And now let's set this input high. Okay, it's looking good. Uh, this input I have to fix. High limit shall be 120. Yes, it's it's stored. It's stored. Okay, and now let's try if it is still stored. If I press the reset button, press the reset to this. Yes. Menu. That menu. And this is for stored, and this is also stored. One hundred twenty. All right. All right. So now we can enter, we have separated menus. Now the left and right button also makes sense. Uh, we have separated menus. We can open and close and this will stay where we are. Well, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice, I must say. Good. Ah. Uh, hmm. 
we have to fill this with life. I'm not sure if you already noticed here I have added a beeper. Yeah, this is put to pin number 9 here. I'm not sure if this is working, but we will try. We'll try next video to, uh, to react on those alarms. Yeah. In the meantime, I will fix the input issue yeah, with the minus, uh, with the minus uh, inputs. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it for today. Yeah, menu, menu controlling, two menus. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.